We're next to Frankie Ferrari here as our post-game show continues. The Dons prevail over Northern Arizona, 76-60. Frankie, the uh, the Lumberjacks were kind of a pesky, scrappy group here tonight. Talk about this ball game a little bit for us. Yeah, we knew they were going to come in and play hard, and they started off really good. Uh, we were a little low in energy, um, and, and like Coach says, respect everyone, fear no one, and, and they came out really strong, and they, and they hit some threes that I'm looking at that uh, we knew they could hit, but they hit them, and we shouldn't have you know, let them get going like that, but they did. We were fortunate enough to, to make some runs and uh, you know, distance ourselves. You know, you, as you sit down and get ready for the postgame show here, you have 17 points, you have four assists, but the thing I noticed is right away you looked at the stat sheet and said, I was only three for nine from three-point range. I, I got to make more. You're, you're really a, a self-critic sometimes, aren't you? Yeah, I thought, you know, the, the ones that I'd miss were wide open. I usually don't miss those, um, but I guess uh, we're saving them for Saturday. Yeah, you mentioned Saturday. How excited are you for that ball game? You've already gone on the road and won at Cal and beat a Pac-12 team in their building. Now you get a Pac-12 team uh, on your home floor in Stanford, a team that took Kansas to overtime. So you know Stanford's going to bring it here on Saturday afternoon. It's going to be a really good game, really good test for us. Uh, I'm sure we'll have a lot of fans and uh, we're all excited, you know, having a Pac-12 team coming to the Hilltop is great, and uh, we're really looking forward to it. You know, you mentioned, the, and, and you know, uh, you know, fear, you know, be ready for anybody, fear no one. You know, I, I know that Coach uh, has talked about the, the overall mission this year. You guys are 11 and one, but you don't want to get too excited about that, right? You just want to keep rocking and rolling. Yeah, you just try not to look at the record and keep stacking the wins, and uh, that's what we're planning on doing. We hope to finish the uh, non-conference strong. We got two more with Stanford and Santa Barbara, so looking forward to getting one done Saturday. How big was Charles Minland for your team here tonight? You know, Minland had uh, 18 points, three steals, eight rebounds. Uh, he blocked a shot. He was all over the floor. I thought he was great, you know, and uh, like you said, the eight rebounds and the seven and nine from the free throw line is great. That could really carry us, and I, you know, I hope he continues to do that. You know, you mentioned the free throw line. I don't want to bring up anything negative, but that is the one stat that the team could improve on 63 and a half percent at the stripe and we both know that there's probably going to be a league game or two or three that could come down to made free throws yeah i think we just got to keep keep working at it uh obviously statistically it's not great but you know we got different guys that can get in here and get extra work and that's fine i think we'll be fine uh, Frankie, appreciate the post game. Keep it rolling. I know you're enjoying it. Do you, do you do enjoy it? Are you able to step back and say, "Hey, we're 11 and one. This is kind of fun." Yeah, no, I, I I do enjoy it, but no, I don't really look at it like that. I uh, I'm thinking about the next game already, to be honest. But yeah, no, thank you, and uh, we're looking forward to Saturday. All right, Frankie, All right, you're, you're a class act. Thank we appreciate you. joining us yes, in the post game. Sir. Fun watching you play. That's Frankie Ferrari, USF uh, senior point guard, who tonight had. 17 points, four assists, two turnovers. And how about this number, five steals for Frankie Ferrari in 35 minutes of playing time. All right, our uh, Don's postgame interview is brought to you by Lux Bus America. Get your people moving with Lux Bus America, the official transportation service for the University of San Francisco Don's. Don's will host Stanford. That's coming up here this Saturday, 2 p.m. tip-off. If you can't get out to the ball game, we hope to see you, uh, well, at least have you on the radio side, 145 for the pregame and a 2 p.m. tip-off right here at 1550. The Dons go to 11 and 1, and Northern Arizona has dropped to 2 and 7. Our broadcast has been a production of Van Wagner Communications in conjunction with the USF Athletic Department. The executive producer for Don's Basketball is Frank Alaco. Our associate producer is Sidney Telson. And our network coordinator and studio engineer, Daniel Barrera. Again, join us Saturday at 1.45 for the pregame and at 2 p.m. tip-off. It's the Don's and the Cardinal as USF has handled Northern Arizona. 76 to 60 is our final. For Jim Bravelli, our color analyst, and our entire broadcast crew, Pat Olson saying thanks for watching and listening. And so long from the Hilltop for everybody at Van Wagner Sports and Entertainment. This has been USF Dons Basketball on the W.TV and 1550 The Game.